my name is Kate Stenson, and I received my ADHD diagnosis when I was 31 years old in 2020. I um, had studied in academics when I was in early university, and I moved from academia into public relations, which ended me up in the art sector working in independent theater in Toronto. At the time, I knew I had an anxiety disorder, I thought that aside from that, I was just a little bit different. And as I hit my mid to late 20s and life hits a little harder, you start having more responsibilities, there's more happening. I was slowly losing control of being able to handle all of that, which just led me to shame spirals, essentially, of putting pressure on myself to accomplish things that I assumed I should be able to accomplish. Um, and as a textbook former gifted child who excelled in grade school, excelled through university, had no issues with that, I didn't realize that my coping mechanisms were unhealthy and that my coping mechanisms may have been helping with the very superficial symptoms of what was going on in my life, but they weren't actually handling any of the causes or dealing with the culminating and comorbid diagnoses that were coming along with it. So I eventually, during the pandemic, took a full-time job with a charitable arts organization and for the first time was in an arts administrator position, which meant full office hour days, lots of computer work, deadlines for written work in a way that I hadn't experienced since I was back in university. And I found that shift from a freelance on my feet in working environment into a structured nine to five office environment beyond difficult. I reached a point where I fully believed I was no longer capable, that I was going to have to quit my job and that I was going to die alone in a cardboard box because there was no way I was going to function as an adult in our world. And I had had years of people saying, maybe you got ADHD. Oh, look at you being a little ADHD and finally approached my doctor with it it was like a cloud had lifted above me because suddenly there was a name to give what I was struggling with. And suddenly there was a reason why I functioned differently than the other people in my family and my working community and my life. And instead of seeing those differences as failures, I could see them as what they were, which was just differences. So much ADHD education is geared towards children. Not only do we not as adults have resources for like, how do I balance a nine to five job with a relationship with friends with ADHD? What happens when I can't clean my house, but I live alone? I literally just Googled, how do I deal with this? What do I do? And CADEC popped up and the CADEC coaching session popped up and I went, oh, thank God please somebody just tell me what to do like i just need somebody to help me with this and i registered on a whim i woke up the next morning and deeply regretted my commitment and then i buckled down and i went to the first class and i wrote my parents afterwards and i was like this is a game changer and they were they asked they asked me to clarify they're like oh are you getting great resources are you doing this are you doing that and i said yes all of the above but to me, what the game changer was, was sitting and staring at my computer screen and seeing individuals my age bracket and older from all across my country with every different background from the arts to business to medicine, all having the same struggles and all being able to give each other hints and tips that other people didn't think of and being able to brainstorm and share resources and share the apps that work with us and do all of those things. It just suddenly went from me on my computer and then talking to friends, but not really to a guided chance to actually work together to take steps forward. But what it also showed me was there are so many of us looking for change that maybe change is possible. I, for one, would not be where I am today without the CADAC ADHD coaching and without a very strong medical team who listens to me and trusts me when I bring issues to them. Systems like CADAC provide support, education, and resources 
for adults who are dealing with the diagnosis not well understood in our society. By supporting everybody in our society and all of our brain types and all of our neurological requirements, we can create a stronger and more inclusive world where we can all thrive and we all have the chance to live our lives to the fullest.